everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob and I'm glad you joined me today as we continue our journey with VFK Freight. And here we are after our couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Okay. Whew, we went from forty something thousand dollars down to twenty eight thousand. I'm gonna have to figure out what I can do as far as getting trailers that they would quit driving back empty for understand why this uh, game other than the fact that it's not made by an American company as far as I know but I don't understand why they put these parking spots where you nose in all the time when I was a truck driver nosing in was a no-no <laughs> yeah, I better not do that all these trailers. Ah. Go figure. I upgraded all the trailers I had and it was pretty expensive. But I upgraded them all to reefers to try to eliminate some of that uh, returning without a job messages I was getting. Eh, but apparently that didn't do the trick good enough. Because I'm still getting the messages. For being a brand new truck, this thing runs out of air pretty quick. Whenever you have to do multiple brake stabs. up all this ground we lost last night um, detouring due to an accident yeah I better put my good boy on forward especially with these heavier phones they have nowadays and mine's not a uh, smartphone it's a just a regular phone I mean it's got Wi-Fi and internet and all that but other than that it's not smart
but it is a cheap and convenient way to have a webcam or a camera to use for lives and stuff like that. They've got this app you can put out and I think it even shows up on the videos in the little live box. Arian.com or something like that shows up on there every once in a while I noticed. I mean, why wouldn't they want to tell people who, you know, what they're using to broadcast their phone. Free advertisements. Well, there's the rest areas where we're going to stop at. I'm glad we stopped when we did, though. And let's not have that on going by the rest area. I try to keep between 15 and 30 on a video, but I don't know, if people are interested in watching the hour and a half long video, I might go ahead and just do that. Hey, wouldn't you know it, this is the lane that's closed. last night. <laughs> it's a long little detour here. Makes me more uh, certain that the next time I'll just probably go ahead and try to cut between the cars and the guardrail because that's just a little bit ridiculous to have to detour that far. And so far I've succeeded in doing my little skip buys. Not sure how realistic that would be to real life. <laughs> I don't kind of like you doing that in real life. So drop me a comment down below. If you've made it this far, let me know if I should go ahead and skip by those uh, detours try to anyhow or if you'd rather maintain the reality of uh, making the detour because I mean either way you go about it I don't care I sit here and make a big fuss about it but 
I just like getting my load delivered and getting that money. I'm, I'm watching that money go down and all these upgrades cost me some uh, pretty major dollars because I was sitting over 150000 before I did all the upgrades. And I've done four or five loads since the upgrades. And we're still just barely below uh, 30,000. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I guess that's real life. Real life, you could be sitting at $150,000 one day, and the next day you're sitting at uh, bankrupt. It's just hard to say. Stay right, and then exit right. The only advantage to this particular job is if I go bankrupt, it's not real life. It's not real exit money. Right. But we still don't want to do it. Because uh, failure is failure, whether it's play or reality. trailer brake option on here but I still wish these brakes were near as touchy as they are I have adjusted the dead zone I've adjusted the linear linearity or whatever it's called I just done so many different things trying to get them brakes to be more reactive to reality uh, and it's just just not doing it barely touch the brake pedal and it nearly throws you through the windshield excuse me why they have motorcycles parked there without a police officer sitting on them. fast time flies in real life when you're uh, doing something that keeps you occupied and this definitely keeps you occupied you cannot take your concentration off this at all or you'll be driving into a guardrail or a jeep that exits right in front of you longer runs like this I think would be better suited being uh, live instead of just a recording feel 
feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below whether or not you think that uh, doing these long runs like this are uh, more suited for lives or if I should just do the long runs recording and edit them to kind of break them up better wait there bus I'm coming over put my blinker on and I think he thought he'd try to race me get past me before I've gotten his way I've got some uh camera control knobs on my steering wheel but whenever I go into the game control setting it doesn't recognize my knobs on my steering wheel it recognizes the buttons but not the not the knobs so I have to use my mouse straight. I always look whenever I go through a new city. Well, but this isn't a new city, but I always look whenever I go through uh, cities see if there's any discoveries to be made I think we've got plenty of time before we have to deliver this because our ETA is 22:42, and our delivery window is 21:39 to 4 a.m. so we got plenty of time to get this delivered That's what that is. That's that Peterbilt that I discovered the other day. I was trying to figure out what this uh, dealership that it was showing me was. I had a delivery right over there the other day, and as I was going down there, I stopped in at this Peterbilt. Just made the discovery, just stopped in to discover it, and left. <laughs> but that's how I do it. I just pull in to make discoveries and then head on out the road. It's like there's a few spots over there I haven't uh, been to yet that's all grayed out. Go straight. No point in stopping in. Yeah. I might go down that road just for the well it looked like it well yeah it does it comes back over to the main road so we can cut off let's go get rid of that gray road showing my errors this shows that I'm not perfect which I already knew that anyhow but
lost my bearings. See, I have the right, the left mouse button looks right. Um, the left mouse button looks left. The right one looks right. And then my wheel, if I push it forward, oop, I better unlock the differential. Okay, I don't want to. There we go. I can't remember what I was saying. I think I was talking about the mouse control. Turn left. Somehow or other, I lost my bearings as to which view was the front view. And ended up. Yeah, there you go, you stinking people. Turn right. $900 because somebody else hit me. Sounds about right. In real life, I think that's the way it goes, too. Even if you're not at fault, you pay if you drive a truck. A lot of people looks at, look at trucks as a money-making opportunity. Well, folks, that's about as far as we're going to make it today. But please come back and join me again as we continue our trip and our journey uh, with VFK Freight and trying to build our company. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe out there.